First of all, before uh, entering to the battle, I got the uh, tooth sick, very hard tooth sick. Tooth sick. Okay. Too too sick. And uh, our uh, battalion, when we arrived to Jerusalem to Beta Kerem area, every platoon, every platoon sit around a house in uh, this area. And uh, you see, you saw the uh, ladies and the daughters uh, get out with uh, coffee and cakes that the baker herself and gave us. And they even offered us to phone to our uh, homes from their telephone. In that moment, I got a toothache, very hard toothache. And the woman that came out of uh, his uh, her uh, house that we sit near uh, told us, look guys, my husband, Dr. Beinart, is a dentist. If someone of you needs help, he's ready to help. Uh, so I jumped like a <laughs> snake bitten and uh, I lay, lay on his gynecologist gynecological chair because I'm a gynecologist huh? and uh, <laughs> he gave me he gave me a local anesthetic and the uh, uh, pain uh, was relieved you know you can't tell to your friends few minutes before entering to the battle that you have to sick it's not uh, the other things I want to tell you that in one moment uh, we heard the voice of the paramedic called, called, the, called the doctor. But before it, we, some soldiers saw a woman, a pregnant woman near the hotel uh, that healing with pain and they, they wanted to help her but they didn't know what to do. They called to the paramedic, Ilan Arad ran to this lady and he didn't know what to do. So he called to the uh, battalion doctor. The doctor, doctor, and the doctor with his backpack ran to this lady. And without, uh, with uh, out unbelievable patient, he helped her to give birth. This is to, an Arab woman in there, right? To a very nice little girl, <laughs> Arab girl, but she wasn't an Arab girl. She was a Jewish girl because her mother was Jewish. She married to an Arab, Jordanian, and uh, she, they are still in Israel.